Good morning all and welcome to Microsoft's E3 press conference review. And goddamn, if I don't say, they didn't just take E3 away from Sony. Sony, you better show me something tonight because uh, Microsoft brought it and they brought it very, very well. Okay, 90 minutes of games. And the biggest game of all, save for last, not one mention of Call of Duty this whole E3 so far. And Microsoft is notable for starting E3 with Call of Duty. They didn't do that this year. They started this bitch off with Halo 5, Guardians, and Nathan Fillion is in the fucking game again. Yes. Haven't seen Nathan Fillion in a Halo game, I don't think, since Halo Reach. He was in ODST, that's where I first saw him, and you played as him. So I hope we get to play as Nathan Fillion again, fully motion captured and all, oh, because it looks just like that motherfucker. And his voice is in there, so, yeah. October 27th, can't get here fast enough to play me some Halo. I, will sh I should have my Xbox by that point. So, yeah, and they got 24-player, multiplayer. The maps I hear are four times as big. That should be awesome. And... Yeah, right out the gate, Halo 5. I'm down. It looks good. It looks fucking good. Next up, coming next year, a game called ReCore. This looks interesting, especially because your dog is a robot with a little sphere in the middle. That's his heart. And I guess you can take that sphere and put it into any other type of robot, and you'll always have a companion. In any, any type of way, odd shape, or form, so... That seems cool. I'll, t I'll, I'll check that out. That seems pretty good. And two years out of the gate from its launch, Xbox has finally fucking listened and actually is going to give us backwards compatibility. Yeah, that's right. Your Xbox One will now play 360 games. Not only will it come out in the holiday, um, for no charge, they won't charge you for playing the games you already own, which is awesome. But you got a whole library on the Xbox One if you want it. But if you have a 360 game, you can just pop it right on into your Xbox One, download the game from your uh, 360 disc, and you're ready to go just like that. About fucking time, you know? It only took you two years, but we got X we got backwards compatibility. Thank the ever-loving Christ that I don't have to fuck with a 360 anymore for this. Thank you. Okay? I could just buy a 360 game and just put it in my Xbox One. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. No more Red Ring of the fucking death. You could have did that, we know, when you launched the damn system. But I'm not complaining. I'm happy. I'm happy. It's backwards compatibility. Why would I be not be happy? <laughs> <sighs> that sounds good. They got a new controller coming out, Xbox Elite wireless controller. And from what I can see, it's modded for PC as well, and you can actually change out your triggers and shit. I'm going to get that shit, because you can mod your own controller. That's fucking crazy. And then we got more Fallout 4 again. Um... This time, you have PC-created mods for the game. Can be transferred to Xbox One for free. Not much of a big thing. It's just a little extra nudge from Microsoft. So, okay. It's not really something that will make you say, Oh, it's first on Xbox type of stuff. But we do have those in there. Not from Fallout, but from other stuff. Then they talked about EA. EA came out talked about EA Access. Like anybody gave a shit, cause most nobody really gave a shit in that crowd, and I didn't either. But you can say you. They say you can play Madden 16 on Xbox or EA Access five days ahead of its release from August 25th to August 20th. Woo! Five fucking days to play football for five extra days to play football. Wow. Anyway, they also talked about Titanfall coming to the access. Like, anybody gives a shit, everybody's probably already completed Titanfall by this point. Because it is a Microsoft press conference. 
you know? <laughs> but they also announced Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, which comes out next spring. So, I can't wait for that one. So, that was the only good excitement announcement they actually gave us from EA so far. And, I, and their press conference is coming up today. So, show me something, EA. I want to see some Mass Effect in that bitch. Anyways, we got the announcement of Forza Motorsport 6. A new car has been unveiled. It is the 40th or 50th anniversary of that car or whatever from Ford. So it's in the game. The game comes out September 2015. September 15th, actually. So, I can't wait for that. I mean, the last time I played Forza was Forza 3 and Forza 4. So, yeah. Then they got the announcement of Dark Souls 3, the hardest games ever played, which is awesome because it makes you want to throw your controller at the fucking screen. But I'm happy, 2016, not bad. Then we got more Tom Clancy's The Division. You get the beta first on Xbox, as you can see, that's the first first on Xbox. Then we got Rainbow Six Siege. Um, you get to play Rainbow Six Vegas 1 to 2, not only from backwards compatibility from Xbox, but it, it should come free with Rainbow Six Siege. So, okay, I'll take it. I haven't played those two games in a long ass time anyway. And the, um, the game comes out October 13th so far. Then we got, um, a game called Gigantic. It's free to play. The beta will be out this August, so I'm guessing the game won't be out till next year. Um, then you have the independent stuff for Xbox now. We got ID at Xbox. And we got some announcement games. Tacoma for 2016. Ashing. Beyond Eyes, which comes out this year. And Cuphead, which comes out next year. So, Xbox is finally hitting the independent circuit. It's about time. Um, they also debuted a new exclusive called Ion. Um, another new exclusive, as I should say. No release date on what that when that game's gonna come out. Neither if it's not gonna come out this year or next year, it just said Ion, and that's it. It was a, it had a little bit going to it, but it looks pretty good. Then we got some gameplay footage from Rise of the Tomb Raider, and this game looks absolutely fucking awesome. Can't wait to play this game. It comes out November tenth, which is the same day. That's Fallout 4. So, so let me get this straight. I'm, I'm dropping, I'm dropping 130 bucks right now. Fallout 4. Oh, uh, actually, it's gonna be more than 130 bucks because I, I want to get that collector's edition of Fallout 4 and Rise of the Tomb Raider. Okay, okay. Just as long as Call of Duty doesn't come out that same day, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. Okay. <laughs> but damn, the gameplay looks. Sweet transition. I love the avalanche scene going on in that game. All is well with Tomb Raider. All is well. Then Rare comes out to celebrate their 30th anniversary, and they got they got a new collection of games coming out called Rare Replay. 30 games, I believe, for 30 bucks. A dollar a game. Okay, that's cool. Comes out August 4th of this year, and then they went and released a new IP from Rare called Sea of Thieves. That looks interesting. It's like a, a pirate type game. So, should be fun. Then we got Fable Legends coming to Xbox One again. Free to play for Xbox One. And I know PC should be free to play too. Uh, I think it's Xbox Live Gold members that will get this free to play. Um, then we got the Oculus Rift. Uh, back up on the show floor, which is the virtual headset thing. And you'll get an Xbox One controller included with that when it comes out. But they also talked about Microsoft Holo, HoloLens, which is a 3D-like headset you put on your head, kind of similar to what that is. But god damn, did that look awesome. They went and put Minecraft on. Minecraft, I really don't care for Minecraft. But they use that as a tech demo for what this thing would do. So he's playing it on the wall on the screen right there. But then he takes it and puts it on the table. Seemingly in real time, the whole table transforms into like this big giant map of the, the world you create from Minecraft. And you can literally 
take your other a friend playing on another thing and go in there and do some stuff you want to do to it. It looks fucking sick. Okay? That may have been fake. That may have been real. I don't know, but I liked it. It sold me on that fact. Okay? Because nothing messed up. It was it all looked nice. It all looked nice. And we all know Microsoft's history of trying to do something live. So when something doesn't work when they try to do something live, we will see it mess up in real time. That didn't mess up. So obviously the technology they made now is far superior to what they had last gen. So congrats. You actually made shit that worked, Microsoft. And it didn't mess up your conference not once. Thank you. That's all we asked for. <laughs> But seriously though, that looked fucking awesome. So, yeah. Then we got the not so surprising announcement of the Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which I'm pretty sure will probably come with Gears of War Judgment. It had better if you're gonna call it the Ultimate Edition, okay? It better come with all four of those fucking games, okay? Especially, especially since we have to wait a whole year. For Gears 4. Yeah, that's right. They announced Gears 4. The shit looked amazing. But we gotta wait till next holiday. Another year. Oh, you son of a bitch. A year. A year. Come on. Well, all this other shit right here should last me almost a year, so... I'll, I'll give you that. Plus a whole backwards compatibility of 360 titles I'll be able to play for up to, all, up to a year. Now how many fucking 360 titles there are? <laughs> so, yeah. Microsoft, you did well this year. Thank you. That's all I fucking asked for. And a conversation. But what really took that conference for me, the backwards compatibility. Not only because we all been wanting backwards compatibility, I don't know, since 360, you know? But that you finally went out the way to say, okay, if you already own most of the 360 games, or if, if not all of them, you won't pay for a single goddamn game on, the, on our console. That's how you fucking do it. That's how you steal the show. Thank you. That's all I fucking asked for, and for that fucking reason alone, for the backwards compatibility. For Gears 4, for Tomb Raider, for Halo 5, and for all the other awesome shit that I've seen at this conference, you're gonna get a fucking A+, bitch. Thank you for bringing it. That's all we asked for two years ago before you launched this goddamn system. Okay? It was all about the games today. A whole 90 minutes, right out the fucking block. It was games, 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 games. Not, oh, oh the software sold this many units. Oh, da, 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 da. oh we're going to do this thing for the TV. Oh, da, 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 da. No, it was all games. That's what we're talking about. This is what E3 should be. Thank you. Let me know what you guys think about the Microsoft conference down below. I am fucking excited if you can't fucking tell. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys when I do E... I was going to say EA. I mean E3. EA's conference should be about another two hours away from that. So, see you then. Ubisoft and Sony. Late.